My name is Benjamin Schwartz. Uh, I am a cartoonist for The New Yorker. I am also an MD and I work with Columbia University and I teach medical students how to tell stories through art. The challenge that I see uh, come up a lot is that the doctors and the people who they're treating, um, they're talking about the same story but they're coming at it from two different perspectives. And uh, the reason that things don't always mesh is because to each side, there's different values and different importance. Um, you know, doctors and other healthcare workers, they have to think about um, diseases and conditions in a very particular way, in a very rigorous way. It's what they've been trained to do. But they work so hard to do that, that it's, it becomes easy to lose sight of how the patient actually sees themselves, or the person who's dealing with their condition sees themselves. Um, and that's why you get these things where uh, a physician or healthcare worker will throw out a lot of jargon, a lot of technical speak, and not even realize that that's not familiar terminology to the person they're speaking to because it is second nature to them. And I think, especially in a world of uh, chronic conditions like CF, uh, that technical jargon, it's not just that it's complex or unfamiliar, uh, it also carries a lot of emotional weight too, and I think a lot of times physicians and other healthcare workers forget about that. That you know these aren't just words that can be to casually tossed out. Um, that these words have real impact, and they have uh, a, a real uh, emotional impact because the people they're saying these things to, they have to deal with the consequences of this. I, I deliver uh, a very simple message. It's you know probably the simplest message you'll ever hear at a medical conference. My, my only message is uh, to stop and think from time to time, to give yourself some time for self-reflection. It can be uh, uh, shockingly easy to just go forward um, without thinking about uh, the people you're working with and what their perspective is. So I go around and I, I, I preach this idea of narrative medicine, um, which is certainly not an idea that I came up with, a concept I came up with, um, but it's one that I've really embraced. It's all about just emphasizing the idea that the healthcare worker does have a role as a storyteller, as the listener and receiver of, story, of stories. That role and, and those skills related to stories, skills of uh, empathy, attention, perspective, self-reflection, that those are skills that can be actively worked on. It's not just, it's certainly not something you just have or you don't have, and it's also not something that you just kind of passively pick up as you go along. And that's the way I think the healthcare community has treated this, this stuff for way too long collaboration, because that's where the real breakthroughs happen. And to get there, as I say, it requires a lot of listening, a lot of telling, a lot of editing and translating. 